Hey there, mega project enthusiasts and city planners. Welcome back to our channel, where we uncover the secrets and stories behind tomorrow's incredible engineering marvels. Today, we're diving into the future of urban living in the Philippines with a closer look at New Clark City. This ambitious project is more than just a new metropolis. It's a vision for sustainable, smart, and disaster resilient living. If you're fascinated by cutting edge urban planning, you're in for a treat. So, Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. New Clark City, located within the Clark Special Economic Zone in Tarlac Province, is a planned community designed to accommodate up to 1.2 million people. This project spans approximately 9,450 hectares, and it's set to be a game changer in urban development in the Philippines. But how did this massive undertaking begin? The concept of New Clark City, initially called Clark Green City, was first envisioned by the Bases Conversion Development Authority BCDA, under the leadership of Arnel Paziano Casanova in 2012. Casanova's vision was to create a metropolis north of Metro Manila that would be green, smart, and resilient to climate change. This idea was partly driven by the devastating impacts of Typhoons Quetzana in 2009 and Haiyan in 2013 highlighting the need for safer, elevated urban areas. Casanova also wanted to address the notorious traffic congestion in Metro Manila. His vision included a city with ample parks, tree-shaded pedestrian lanes, and innovative technologies to enhance urban living. One of his bold ideas was to eliminate gated communities to reduce traffic and promote a more open, connected community. In 2015, the BCDA held a design competition for the master plan of Clark Green City. The winning design came from Ecom, with contributions from notable urban planners and designers from around the world. The official groundbreaking ceremony for the city was held on April 11, 2016, led by then-President Benigno Aquino III and Casanova. Under Casanova's leadership, significant partnerships were formed with both local and international entities. These included agreements with Japan Overseas Infrastructure Investment Corps, the Swedish Environmental Research Institute, and Paris-based Vivapolis to integrate smart and disaster-resilient features into the city. To build the human capital for this new city, BCDA donated 70 hectares of land for a new University of the Philippines campus, 40 hectares for the Technological University of the Philippines, and 20 hectares for the Philippine Science High School. Casanova even sent 100 scholars, including mayors and town planners, to Singapore's Nanyang Technological University for training on green city planning and governance. Casanova's vision didn't stop there. He also initiated talks with the Rungji's Market of France for an Asian food logistics hub in New Clark City to ensure food security and connect Philippine farmers to the global market. Additionally, BCDA invested in the Luzon Bypass Line with the Department of Communications and Information Technology and Facebook, aiming to provide fast and free internet access to government offices, schools and parks, sparking a movement of technopreneurs in the country. In March 2015, the Philippine Congress showed its support by approving House Resolution 116 for Clark Green City, solidifying the project's official backing. After Casanova's tenure, the project continued under BCDA President Vince Dizon. By 2018, the development of Phase 1A of the National Government Administrative Center, NGAC, began. This phase included the construction of the new Clark City Sports Hub, which played a crucial role in the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. In 2020, plans for an agro-industrial hub were unveiled to support farming communities and strengthen food security in Luzon. Additionally, a Memorandum of Understanding with the British Embassy Manila was signed to design the NCC Central Park and develop affordable housing projects. Initially named Clark Green City, the planned city was renamed to the present New Clark City during the Duterte administration. New Clark City is strategically located within the former US military base of Camp O'Donnell, nestled between the Sierra Madre and Zambales mountain ranges. This location offers natural protection from typhoons and is situated at a minimum elevation of 54 meters above sea level, mitigating flood risks. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology has also assessed the area as relatively less prone to earthquakes. The city is designed with numerous green spaces. Out of the 9,450 hectares, 
only 3,500 will be developed, leaving the rest for green and open spaces, making it a green city. At the heart of New Clark City, you'll find the Kappa's National Shrine, a memorial for Allied soldiers who perished during the Bataan Death March in World War II. The city also plans to feature a 44.8 hectare Central Park, making it a true green city. New Clark City is divided into various districts, each with its unique purpose. The National Government Administrative Center, NGAC, spans 200 hectares and will host crucial government facilities, including a disaster recovery center and a satellite office for the President of the Philippines. The sports hub within the NGAC includes the new Clark City Athletic Stadium, an aquatic center, and an athlete's village. These facilities were not only pivotal for the 2019 Southeast Asian Games, but will also host future international sporting events. Another significant development is the Philinvest New Clark City, a mixed-use and industrial district covering 288 hectares. This area will house the Innovation Park, a hub for logistics, e-commerce, light manufacturing, and data centers. The Han Reserve, a 450-hectare luxury mountain resort, will feature three 18-hole championship golf courses, PGA-affiliated facilities, and hotels by Banyan Tree, Angsana, Sofitel, and more. The resort aims to be a premier destination for luxury and leisure. Education and research are key components of New Clark City's vision. The city will host campuses for the University of the Philippines, Technological University of the Philippines, and Philippine Science High School. It will also be home to the Virology Science and Technology Institute of the Philippines and the National Academy of Sports. Other notable institutions include the Banco Central NG Pilipinas Currency Production Facility, the Supreme Court Judiciary Regional Center, and the National Bureau of Investigation Regional Office. New Clark City will be well connected through various transportation systems. The Clark Loop, a bus rapid transit system, will link NCC to Clark International Airport and other areas within the economic zone. Future plans include a railway station for the North-South Commuter Railway, connecting NCC to Metro Manila, and the Subic clark tarlac Expressway for road connectivity. Recently, the BCDA signed an agreement with Japan-based Zenmov Inc. and Philippine-based MC Metro Transport Operation Inc. for a demonstration of an energy-efficient and smart public transportation system within New Clark City. New Clark City's future prospects are incredibly promising. With its strategic location, robust infrastructure and sustainable design, it aims to become a hub for business, education, sports and government operations. The city's development is a testament to what can be achieved when vision, innovation and strategic planning come together. The city is not just about infrastructure, it's about building a community that values sustainability, resilience and quality of life. From its green spaces and disaster resilient features, to its cutting edge transportation systems and educational institutions, New Clark City represents a new paradigm in urban development. New Clark City is not just a new urban development, it's a bold step towards a more sustainable, resilient and connected future. With its innovative design, strategic location, and comprehensive planning, it aims to set a new standard for cities in the Philippines and beyond. Thanks for joining us on this journey through New Clark City. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting explorations of the world's most groundbreaking projects. See you in the next video.